for high school who's thriving in sports and in the classroom despite being deaf. High school sports are a blur of action and a smorgasbord of sounds. Sounds Kiana Morell of Carver can't hear. A virus as a baby robbed her of her hearing, but she's learned to adapt and succeed. Kiana is an important reserve on a basketball team that's again headed for the playoffs. Not to mention she's run track and played volleyball and softball for the Yellow Jackets in her career. Some people think that deaf people can't play because they can't hear, and that's not true. And you never know if you, doesn't, if you don't try. You can play um, basketball, volleyball. Like, if you're playing basketball and you're in the court and you see everybody has stopped, then you know to stop. And then when they start playing again, you know to play. Kiana has a wonderful support system. Her mother moved to have her mainstreamed at a very young age. Plus, she's been blessed with the same interpreter since the fifth grade. Sharon Agnew, a sign language specialist, helps Kiana get through the day. She reflects well. She communicates well with everyone in class. She has lots of friends. She's very sociable. And uh, she's, um, you know, really a go-getter. Nothing holds her back. And I, and I really enjoy being part of watching that happen every day. Anything that she wanted to do, go for it. I said, but remember one thing. If you do it, you have to finish it. And she did. She's never started anything and didn't finish it. In addition to sports, and this might surprise some people, Kiana loves music and plays bass in the school's orchestra. I start playing bass because the sound uh, is, is stronger. Cello is a little bit slower, softer, but I really like the bass better because it's louder. I can feel the vibration. Ray Charles, he was blind, but he could play the piano without reading the music. He, he could hear the music and he knew how to play it and sing it. Same thing with me. I'm deaf, I can't hear it, but I can read music and I can play it. Kiana, an A student and a member of the National Honor Society, is looking into Gallaudet University, a world-renowned school that caters to deaf students. She hopes to continue playing sports and study ways to bridge the gap between the hearing and the hearing impaired. In Winston-Salem, Kevin Conley, Fox 8 News. Hey, what if that one doesn't fire you up, nothing will. And if you have an idea for a Fox 8 prep profile, you can call Kevin at 821-1166, 821-1166, or send them an email at that address, kconley at wghp.com. I really love prep profile because we get to meet wonderful people like Kiana. I mean, in order for her to overcome her obstacles and excel like she has, so impressive to know that people are out there like uh, that. The key word is excel. Overcoming is critical, and then excelling, taking it beyond what's mm -hmm. expected. Yeah. That's the true genius. I, I, I was thinking the great composer Beethoven was deaf. Absolutely. Composed his Ninth Symphony, and he couldn't hear. So mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you know, unbelievable there's, there's young a lady gift there. somewhere. You there. got it. Truly right, an Rich. inspirational Thank story. Thing is every day, and you can find out why right now because Morell is this week's Flow Athlete of the Week. This is what most people hear at a basketball game. This is what Kiona Morell hears. A fever and infection when she was three months old cost Morell her hearing. She's been deaf ever since. It's not hard for me. I just, I feel like, just like everybody else. You know, I have to keep on going and, and not give up. I just have to keep going. And I know I can do anything like anybody else. Or maybe even better. The Carver senior was her volleyball team's MVP this year. She scored the hoop that put her basketball team ahead to stay when the Yellow Jackets won the Mary Garber Holiday Classic Tuesday night. And just for good measure, she plays the bass. Since fifth grade, she's had help from Sharon Agnew, her interpreter. They've developed a special bond. I love her so much. She's like a mom to me. Morell is a Crosby Scholar, a National Honor Society member, and she has taught as much as she's learned. It's taught me that you can't look at somebody and say they can't do something. Or in Morell's case, do almost everything well. I accept that I'm deaf. Thank God, you know, I'm lucky to be alive. 
I almost died from that fever. I thank God about that. I feel just like everybody else. Only difference is I'm deaf. And if you know someone you'd like to nominate to be Flow Athlete of the Week, just go to WXI12.com, click on the Athlete of the Week icon, and follow the directions from there. Certainly an inspiring story for those of us who complain about being cold or hot or having a hangnail. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That was a warning. Athletes. But as Noel Glasgow explained, Glasgow explained, students at Carver High School just need to look down the bench for their inspiration. The sounds of basketball. Nikki! Get rid of just as much a part of the game as the ball itself. But imagine never hearing the bounce, the whistle, the horn. My name is Kiana Morell. This is my story. I may look like you, but one thing is different. She knows she's deaf, but to her, that's all she knows. And she's accepted that, and she's gone on, and she see herself just like the next person. A high fever took Kiana's hearing early in her life, but you'll never hear the words why. She expects the very best from herself in all areas, and she puts a lot of pressure on herself to perform. That is kind of what's special. I mean, there's never an excuse. There's never a, a I couldn't do it. Some people think that deaf people can't do things because they can't hear. But that's not true. I can dance, Kiana. I can play basketball. I can see. I can focus. I feel like anybody else. Only difference is I'm deaf. In fact, Kiana Morell is in tune with her ability. If she can make such beautiful music without even hearing a note, then the rest of her life should play out in perfect harmony. I want people to know that deaf people can do anything. Handicapped people, blind people, if they don't give up. I think that's the most inspiring thing, is she just set the bar so high for herself, and she continues to meet and exceed it. Well, she's taught me, don't lower the bar. <laughs> you know, don't lower the bar. No matter what, you know, uh, set the bar high, expectations high, because you can still meet them. In an era where the athletes have become bigger than the teams, this athlete's heart and smile make you realize the game of life is much more than just wins and losses. She's got this smile and a uh, positive attitude. and uh, Occasionally she'll get down, uh, but very rarely. Most of the time she's uplifting to everyone. She kind of lifts all our spirits. She has made everybody in my family, everybody that she comes in contact with, a better person. While most would fear being deaf and call it a handicap, Kiana Morell calls it being lucky. You see, if it wasn't for that high fever 18 years ago, her smile that speaks a thousand words may have gone unheard. Noel Glasgow, WFMY News 2 Sports. Kiana hopes to attend Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C. to play both volleyball and basketball. Gallaudet is a school for the deaf, and it's considered the elite college for the hard of hearing.